Yo, what's up? It's the Style Pod, and I'm back, man. Before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Hey, man, listen. If you don't want to see my beautiful face every day talking about shoes, clothes, hats, wallets, bags, purses, Ugg boots, Nike Jordans, you know, just hit the like button, man. It does nothing but help my channel grow. But guys, real quick into it, I know you guys have seen these shoes already. If you ran across my page, it's because I either had a good thumbnail or you're already a subscriber. Because I know I, you know, I, I don't pay for my my views like a lot of dudes do. But you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, we're talking about the blue to great Jordan ones. Blue to great. Look at this shoe, man. Look at this shoe. Get you some of that. Put that in your lunch pail. These are pretty good shoes. Now, listen. Um, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I just got back from LA. I went to LA to see a Lakers game, right? And um, and just go out there and hang out, kick it and shop. So on my way, my last day, I had probably had about two hours before I was supposed to get on my flight. And I'm in the Grove in LA. And I go to the Nike store, which is a big Nike store. It's like three stores or something like that, three floors. Pretty good size Nike store. Um, but I walked in there and I saw these shoes sitting up on the rack. I'm like, yo, I think I saw a couple of like sneakerhead YouTubers like posting these shoes, or, like posting their got them screenshot and stuff. I was like, yo, these are pretty straight. The only thing that's 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 off about this shoe is it's a mid, but it still looks great. If they would have made this a high, it would have went been super hype, but this is one of those shoes. That later on is going the price and value is going to go up extremely high later on. But anyway, um, they were just sitting there on shelves. Now this is the day after the shoe came out, so this was a Sunday. I think the shoe came out on Saturday, and um, I ended up walking in I'm like, "Hey, yo, yo, you got a uh, size 13?" He was like, "Yeah, we got every size um, 13 and up." I'm like, "Oh hell yeah!" So I bought these. And when I posted them on my Instagram, a bunch of my friends were like, yo, where you get them? Where you get them? Where you get them? Da, da, da. So I don't know if they still have any more pairs left, but if you're in the LA area, you might and you want these shoes, you may be able to just go down to the Grove and get a pair, especially if you have a big size. But from what I heard, the inspiration on the shoe, actually, this guy is from Dallas. I'm from Dallas. This guy's from Dallas. Um, he went to Cedar Hill High School, which is a suburb of Dallas, and one of my good friends knows him. And uh, he was telling me, yeah, I know Blue, blah, 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 blah. I don't, guys, I'll be honest. I don't know who the hell Blue is. I know he's some type of artist guy, and he does pretty good artwork. He actually came to Dallas and did like an in-store signing, and he was signing people's shoes and boxes. But let's just do the review. Um, the, his corduroy right here on the white part, most of it is really good suede. Um, it has Blue right here. I think this is like his signature uh, art or lettering that he has for his art. The tongue has the air, and what I also heard, or what I saw on his page, oh, on the inside, it says fear in black and yellow. Um, but what I saw on his page, on his Instagram page, he's posted a picture of himself when he was a kid. I think he had like a pair of GS Jordan ones, and they look just like this. So I think the inspiration of him doing this is from him having that GS pair when he was a kid. Um, it came with like a, um, where is it? It came with like a little car. Here it is. It has fear on it, right there. And on the back of it said, limits like fears are often just an illusion. Right there. All right, I know somebody's watching this, they really care about this stuff. Um, the paper in says the same thing. Um, the paper on the box, inside the box. The box is red, it's basically a reverse. It's a total reverse of, um, it's a reverse of the normal Jordan box, but it comes with a pair of white laces. Honestly, I like to match the laces up with the tongue, unless I'm feeling spicy. Um, but basically, guys, this is pretty much it, man. You know, if I feel like doing some B-roll and some on-foot, I may do that. Since these shoes are already laced up, I may do an on-foot real quick and show you guys what they look like on-foot, but probably not, man. Um, it's just another pair of Jordan 1s, guys. You've seen them a million times. You know what Jordan 1's look like on feet, so there's no need for me to even do that. But for somebody that's watching this and thinking about getting them or thinking about paying resale right now, they're only like 30 or 40 bucks over retail. 
on StockX and all that good stuff. So if I was you, I would try to get on them right now because later on down the line, um, in a year or so, they're going to double, maybe even triple in price um, because they're a special shoe, man, and I don't think they're going to come out with anything else like this. Now, Melody and Sonny, what's funny is, Melody and Sonny, if you know who that is, I don't know who she is, but I just know through women that I know they're into sneakers. She came out with a sneaker, and it looks very similar to this, except she's using leather. So, um, and it has a watch on the tip, on the lace tip, but guys, it's pretty much it, man. Um, hey, if you have any questions about this shoe, let me know. The price on it was $130, but yeah, that was pretty much it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and guys, remember, okay, you are the flyest motherfucker on earth. I'll see y'all later.